Okay, I just finished my TG Multi setup. Now I'm going to show you how I bundle the wires. One really important thing is to keep the ESC wire bundled up by itself back here with the ESC. Only extend the throttle portion to reach the TG Multi. Don't bundle this wire with the rest of your servo wires. That can cause noise issues. Shouldn't be a big deal, but, but it's just better to keep it separate. I also keep my servo wires for my two rear servos underneath the tail boom and all the ESC wires on top. That's again just to separate it from noise issues. All the wires that come up to the front, you want to bundle and tend to close these loops as much as possible. Same thing when you use an external receiver. This is X-Bus, but when you use an external receiver, you want to bundle the wires and tend to close any kind of loop. You don't want to sit, have them sitting here in an open loop where you know the bigger the, the, bigger the area of the loop, the more they can pick up noise. You want to kind of close them down so they won't pick up noise. Since everything's kind of close together, as long as you take those extra little steps to keep things separated and closed down, you shouldn't have any issues with noise. In the antennas, I tend to run down the opposite side of your ESC wires and servo wires and run them up underneath the tray. So again, the, the, the antennas are isolated from any other noise. That's about it. Uh, the, serve, the motor, I bundle the motor from underneath one of the motor wires from underneath the motor and just fold it up here on the end of the ESC. Bundled up, that seems to be fine. I don't seem to have any issues with these being close. I don't tend to wrap them together, but being just next to each other seem to be okay. Now that we have the wires all bundled up correctly, we can move on to getting in our first flights.